Uh, and Alice, as we've been reflecting, this has been a, a real long and winding road for these families. Um, but clear with perhaps the best intention to make sure they get it absolutely right. Absolutely. I mean, it's incredible to think how many governments this, this bill has gone through. It's gone through four prime ministers to get to this stage. But this has been very much long awaited for the families involved, particularly Ian Russell, who's the father of Molly Russell, who sadly took her own life back in 2017. And she it then became apparent that she'd been involved with viewing a lot of content on different social media platforms which related to suicide and self-harm. And that really reignited a discussion about the concerns concerns of online safety and what social media companies need to do in order to protect children. And so that's very much uh, a key part of what we're seeing from this bill, which has been looked at by MPs today, is putting much greater focus on these big tech companies to do more to protect children, particularly in regards to making sure that encouragement of self-harm is illegal. And that's going to be a very key component of that bill. And that's really because Molly Russell was viewing uh, content that very much glorified issues to do with self-harm and that was very apparent in the inquest that happened in September and that was very much in the coroner's comments there. She died as a result partly of some of the online content she was seeing in regards to suicide and self-harm. So that's going to be a very key aspect of this bill but there's also some, some other aspects that will criminalise for the first time uh, pornographic deep fakes and that's when someone sort of superimposes uh, an image of someone's face onto somebody or someone else. Uh, there's also going to be uh, down blousing which is when someone takes someone's photo down someone's shirt without their consent, that will also be criminalised. So some interesting sort of aspects for adults there, but the sort of main bulk of it really, and I think the one that is of interest particularly to parents who'd be campaigning, is a greater focus uh, on tech companies and a greater, greater accountability for them as well. And, and very quickly, I mean, how long before we actually see this going through Parliament? How long will the process be? We've still got quite a long way to go, and I think that is something that has been criticised by Labour and as well as parents who've been campaigning there. And they're also uh, criticising the government for watering down some key aspects to this bill. And one of the ways they're critical is that it's going to... Material which is legal but harmful, that will still uh, not be moderated by social media platforms. So that's been uh, criticised by some of the parents who are campaigning. But, of course, the, the government is in a position where they're trying to... Uh, keep people happy in regards to free speech and that's one of the reasons that amendment was put forward is because of concerns of making sure that there is still free speech whilst regulating it and making it safe for people and that's made it very difficult for yeah. the government. It's one of the reasons why this bill has been so con controversial and it's uh, had so many different stages and we've still got quite a long way to go. Uh, Alice, uh, 